going on guys do a little quick uh, plan update show you what's going on uh, got some uh, chocolate bootless here growing underneath they're getting some full sun right now so um, looking kind of plants looking kind of wilted that's alright they'll perk up once the sun goes down got some aphids I got to kill on these plants this is a, uh, a death strain from Ed Curry orange bubble gum chocolate bootless right here growing and the chocolate bootless growing chocolate boot across reapers Tigers. And a chocolate bootla. All right, walk over here. So. Chocolate scorpion cross with butch tea. And they're pretty big gnarly pods. Uh, got a bunch of other other ones. You know, Yaki blue fawn. Um, trying to think what else is over in here. Let's look at the markers. USBC tailed. Um, seven pot. Chocolate. Uh, this is a capsicum Galapagonius. I got a larger planter on the other side. It's got pods. Uh, get some with some pods on there. Mustard boots. This is my capsicum Trevilia. Hopefully, pods will set on them. So, and of course, you see all up under here, that's a uh, chocolate scorpion cross with pimento tiger. It's getting kind of big and shaped bigger. Getting nice and I have to walk around behind them now. This is the Borg 9 that, that bleeds. Let's see if I get that in here, see that? Pods. More pods. That's a three five three Peru. It's a two nits. That's a, uh, another uh, chocolate scorpion cross with butch tea. Badland aphids this year like crazy because the humidity and heat and rain. Every time I think I nip them in the butt, man, I gotta go back and it's a constant battle this year out here. Where last year I had them inside, this year it's more or less I didn't have any problems inside and it's outside this year. And this is Carmel Marugas, some with tails, some without, some with more of the classic look, some with the, the phenotype tail on it. Um, There's one colored with the, the tail hooking in. Another wasp cap, uh, 215, little red ones like that. Nice big plant, you see it's huge. Just take this one, it's had, and the small one had Chocolate brain strains. Um, bubble gum right here. 
No flowers yet. Some are taking a lot longer than others, but that's all right. I, I got tons of stuff to do, so I've got to speed this up. Go through a little bit. Another. This is more the classic phenotype of the uh, the uh, chocolate scorpion cross pimento tiger. That's an aphid right there. These are the red uh, chocolate bootless. Chocolate Naga Brain, I believe Gary McCollum out of Louisiana did these, and, and Todd had also some unique phenotypes that he had put out there too. Pretty gnarly looking. Sweet, these are ready, I didn't even know. These are the Caramel Nagas from Judy. Beautiful looking peppers, I'll pick these and send some out to some people. It's an unknown, I don't know what it is. I don't know where the label's at, I don't know, so, but they look pretty gnarly. Pretty gnarly, I believe they're, uh, red, I, I believe they're, uh, the, uh, seven pot lava red. Not 100% sure, though. Let's see what else. Some more, some annuum from, uh, from Malaysia. More wilds. Cap one four four five and uh, one four four six. So, so pot evergreen. They they turn to a mustard color. They these have tails on them, as you can see. That one does, but most of them have tails. Inverted here. This is one found out uh, the uh, PI594141. This uh, capsicum unknown. Don't know the uh, what it is, you know. Bicatum, frutescent. Uh, they had it as exium, but they, they changed it. And so, no. This is a very awesome one. Love this one. This is uh, Christopher Phillips' uh, baby. It's a uh, uh, pimenta uh, Chris Fat Red F. I believe it's F3, F2, F3. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like. And then they kind of change to that color with the dark streaks in there. Pretty, pretty cool. I like the plant too. Very dark looking. This one's. Buddy Charles out of uh, Blacksburg. You see that? And that's the uh, Ahi Crystal across the Kamari Pulux. Um, the only problem is it's an awesome plant, but they're not producing any seeds, and that may be just genetically because of the crossing, you know, with the wild. All the pods don't have any seeds in them. Very weird, but still a cool plant. That's a, a CPP chili pepper peat crosses uh, yellow seven pot, and there are gnarly pots, and they're loaded, loaded down. Look at that. Really cool plant. Red boot. It's a pimento unknown. It's a cool plant. I just don't know what the pimento tigers cross with. PI 441 600. It's a capsicum chinense. Big, nice, bulky plants. I have this, the red kind. I have the peach phenotype too. It's pretty cool. Boom, we have Seven Pot Jonah crossed with Seven Pot Dougla from Jungle Rain. That's Grant Hustler. Try to move along here. Synagogue from the Philippines, it's a capsicum annuum. Seven pot dugla regulars, I always love them. They're still nice and gnarly. Oh, let's see what else we got here. It's peach fatalis.
This is um, Peruvian wild capsicum. Um, it's, it's just unknown. They don't. They don't have. You know what it is. They don't know yet. May have been some kind of wild cross at one time. I believe that's CGN two zero eight zero zero capsicum chinense. Pretty nice hot little peppers. Really cool looking colors on them. I'll float over here real quick. Try to make this quick small update for you. SPI 439439 they ripen to a peach color. Behind it is the Irani pepper PI 138561 and right there as you see the ones yellowing up that's uh, Ahi Fantasy uh, capsicum bicatum. They have kind of like a jalapeno heat to them. Pretty nice, really nice. Actually, the family can enjoy them too. Uh, let's see what else I got pots on. Okay, this is another um, sun pot evergreen. You see tails on these. That yeah, doesn't have one. Most of them have little tails on them. It's another uh, Borg 9. Don't know yet if this is going to be bleeding or not, but this this one's starting to flower up. Uh, chocolate brain strain. Try to see what else I got going. Flowering up. That same one, PI four four one six hundred, and you see this one is the peach variety. Try to go through with one some pods on them right now. This is the uh, SRSL, the SR Scorpion Lantern, Sarah Ragoon, her variety. Pretty gnarly. I like this a lot. Chocolate Brain Chain. Clamshell Bootla from Chad's. Really gnarly. I like the way these are turning out. Oh, this one. That's another chocolate, chocolate naga brain. Really gnarly looking pods. That was one another uh, one phenotype of Primo X. Pretty gnarly looking pods. Another Borg 9. These look like they may be the, the regular phenotype. Which is fine. I like both. Really gnarly. It's, it's a cho uh, um, chocolate boot jalokia crossed with a yellow seven pot. That was uh, a cross they had, had grown. And then they cross that that with a seven pot Jonah, and this is what what's come from about it. It's one of Grant's crosses, looking pretty pretty cool. Red bootleg crosses seven pot bubblegum. Just see how these these turn out. They don't have the classic calyx up top, so I doubt they bleed, but that's all right. Ahi Amarillo, more of a yellowish. Still cool, nice flavor to them. Seven Pot Evergreen Cross with Buchalokia. These are just budding up now. Nice plants, about four foot tall. Another pink tiger. St. Helena's yellow. Come from an island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, way out there. Uh, yellow Primo, as you can see, get a little tail inside, pretty round. Uh, uh, Carolina Reaper crossed with Brain Strain. 
Let's see how these turn out. There's another PI441600. Don't know what color they're going to be yet. This is a PI, PI194879 pinch nose. It's just starting to flower up. And when people ask, so what's PI? That is the government assertion here in the United States. It comes from the government seed bank. PI being, or PI or, or, or GRIN GR is from the states. Um, BGN is going to be from Brazil. CO is from Taiwan, China. Uh, CAP CAP is from Deutschland, Germany. Uh, CGN is from the Netherlands. Okay, this is an annuum from Thailand, pretty big, gnarly one. Excited to try that just to, to see if it's got any heat to it or not. I had picked all these. These were the, the more elongated. No, this is mustard boot. I'm sorry. It's just starting out. One behind it is Supremo X with the, uh, the more elongated phenotypes. This one's starting to butt up. It's Christopher Phillips Hellfire. Starting to get flowers on them. Excited to see how this turns out. And right over there is Vitaly Gourmet Jigsaw. You can see they have the classic look. Same ones, these came from Juca. This is a little more elongated Primo X. It's Midorian Hardy Cross with Purple Boot. They're really nice looking. They go from a dark purple to a gray, then to a red. Really nice. You can see, oh, just dropping the phone there. Make sure. This one of Charles is right here. This uh, Transcorpion Maruga blend, cross a boot. And that cross was crossed with a chocolate boot, crossed with Dougla. And and genetics may never be right, but they're, they're putting out some funky, weird pods. I mean, look at them. All twisted and just really gnarly. And I'll be sending some back to Charles. It's the only right thing to do. And the guy that's created it, done it, you know, send it back and let him choose what he likes from it. Nagla Cross Maruga. That's uh, John... At the UK, that's his, the guy who did the above gum. That's one of his crosses. He also did the uh, Borg 9 as well. Another chocolate Naga Brain. Well, I think I already picked all these on this plant, but this was a, a yellow Dougal across the brown scorpion. I don't have any more paws on it right now, but we'll have some more later on. Another wild variety right here. This one's an Afghan variety, Capsicum annuum. This one, uh, Tristan uh, Potter viewed. And uh, I'll do another update on the other side of the house and, and, and stuff in the front. Just want to guys give you an overview. Some other wild varieties I have going. CGN 17020. Um, Let's see which one this one is. That's Bradley's Bohemian from the Bahamas. And these are your little, your little marbles. CGN. Man, hard to try to remember. Like CGN 24360. Um, they still got a little kick to them. They're nice little pods. But. I have more update on some more stuff and just want to give it a quick rundown of some things I got going on. Uh, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Bye bye.